The Warriors also didn't do anything. Um, they have some pieces that they could have moved. Chris Paul's expiring contract. I think part of this is Atlanta decided it's fine to make the play in and we can make the play in, in the East. And that threw a wrench in a lot of people's plans. I, I, how do you feel about like the Warriors? I mean, do they have a shot at getting into the play in you think? Yeah. I mean, yeah, they have a shot and part of that's going to be just getting healthy for them and hopefully they can get healthy after the all-star break. And if they do, I think they can make a run at the play in, but let's be honest. I don't think this team is doing any damage in the playoffs this year. And that's fine. They're just kind of at, they're at the end of their cycle. Like this is just like the end of this run and every team has to encounter this and the Warriors, I mean, you can you can go a couple different ways. You can try to keep this alive and trade assets and trade players, or you can just try to, you know, kill this as gracefully as possible. And I just don't I just don't think there's like a ton of upside in them like trading Kaminga, who's been r- pretty good. Um, I don't think that um I don't think they were going to make a deal like with Chris Paul's expiring that was really gonna matter. I really don't. So to me. It's it's fine to not do anything. I think they're like deadline acquisitions are just going to the hope of getting healthy yeah. for them. And then just like making a run, see if you can squeeze into the playoffs and then maybe play Denver and give them a scare in round one. You know, I think this is kind of where this is headed. If everything kind of breaks right for them. I'll say this. I think that the Kuminga stuff has been great. I was worried Kuminga was a showcase guy. Seth, I was thinking, oh, we're going to put him out there. Sure. He's young and we'll go and move him. But the truth is Kuminga is the future for them. This is the guy. I mean, I think this is the guy that next year has got to be second to Steph only as far as being featured. I mean, this is he has made a huge difference for Steph. Steph has been better the last couple of weeks that Kuminga has been on this run. Uh, they, they have a pretty good team. I think they're well coached. They're just small. This is a team that lacks athleticism and size and you can't do both unlike okc who has great athletes warriors don't they've got like two and wiggins is only a sometimes great athlete because the motor just isn't there all the time so i mean i, I seth look steph curry's still a tier one guy for you right you can't waste seasons for a tier one guy you know I, you just can't do it i mean it's uh, i think andrew said it like and we've talked about it like as as my son shuts the door loudly, like that's the, the door. <laughs> the, uh, door that's the, 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 the door is shut. I mean, I think the, that it's that it's not just it's it's Clay with all the injuries, Draymond no longer being that guy. It's Kevon Looney, no, like talking about them being small. Mm-hmm. Like Looney has been one of the more underrated bits of their kind of late uh you know, late dynasty renaissance has been how how good Looney has been. And he's obviously just has isn't that anymore either. And so I think that that it's you can say well you can't waste but you know you've been on top for a decade and the cupboard is bare and and you know they uh ha- haven't been great at, at developing and, and picking up young people and just, it just you know there, there aren't moves to be made and so it's not it's it is not it may be a waste but they are not wasting because they didn't have like it's not like they were there were things they could have done that would have fixed this once you have, you know, Clay making a max and Draymond make it like, uh, it's well, just, and you, James you don't White. have enough. Yeah, and 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 you know, and Wiggins turning into a pumpkin, and and Kaminga being, you know, has come on. But I think if they'd have if they'd have had this Kaminga for all of the last two years, they'd be in a much different spot. And instead of it just being kind of a a very good month of play from him. Yeah, and and part of having that Kaminga for the past two years would have been to you know actually play him those those past years and let him yeah. play through mistakes with all that things but they've said it and i think it's at the end of the day we just look back at that james wiseman pick and that was the that was kind of like the major blow to them in that situation and and, and how these things played out and Seth's right though like you know these are how runs end they don't end gracefully I was here. Usually they're Kobe. worse, right? I, I, I saw the Kobe run end as they're going to Lakers are going to yeah. give him a statue later today. Like I, it's, you know, mm. it's, it's, it ends poorly. A lot of times it's not a lot of teams get to ride off in the sunset and, and say like, all right, we're good. Everybody hangs on too long. And I think that's just where the warriors are at right now.